Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. Now, in this video today, we are going to be doing the new Galaxy Opal Moments Jamal Murray gameplay. If you aren't aware, these players are obtainable within the heat check packs. So if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please smash that subscribe button. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Shout out to my guy OG Backpack. Backpack, backpack. You guys know the man with the plan for letting me hop on his account to make this gameplay possible. Look at the Jamal Murray here, six foot four, two hundred and seven pounds, ninety six three ball, ninety five driving dug, ninety two ball handle, an eighty nine steel, eighty nine perimeter defense, decent enough interior defender, ninety four speed speed ball acceleration, as well as a ninety two lateral quickness. Tendency wise, ninety eight driving dunk tendency up and on down to the defensive tendencies here, which are very very solid as well. Twenty three out of fame badges, catch and shoot relentless finisher dimer, fast break finisher downhill handles for days, that are quick first step tight handles, dead eye flexible range extender, hot start tyler shooter floor general and volume shooter 27 gold badges including ankle breaker live city passer pickpocket big dodger clamps hard crusher interceptor intimidator as well as pro touch showtime bailout space critter stop and go green machine hot zone hunter and slippery off ball so he's not missing that many badges rim protector chase down on current gen are the main ones i'd look to give him on next gen definitely give him the blinders badge because that is going to make jamal murray next level good Looking at Jamal Murray in shoot around here, we're just going to first see how he moves. Obviously, with players with mid-90s to upper 90s speeds to be a ball, they're going to move super, super well. So you're going to notice Jamal Murray is just, he's going to be a bucket getter. I think, honestly, in my opinion, my estimation, he's going to be better on next gen than current gen. But just look at the way he can move. With the Pro 2 Curry escape, obviously, I can't really dribble like that too well. But, I mean, he, he's going to be able to move pretty well especially on next gen where i feel like the curry escape in my opinion is more valuable because the burst on current gen really runs the game still you can say whatever you want but you guys saw it in the 250k tournament this weekend the burst just kind of kind of runs the game in a sense so we'll see uh, as long as the burst is in the game i don't i don't think that the curry is still valuable the curry escape still is super super important but it's just like there's other major moves and stuff you can do on next gen to, to kind of make that curry escape in my opinion just that little more valuable but just the way jamal murray moves and feels in my opinion is is like a top tier point guard right you got luka Doncic who moves well but this jamal murray can move and groove as well he's gonna get overlooked by a lot of the community uh specifically in my opinion because he is a moments player right a lot of the moments players do get overlooked um because he's not like a big promo type player but no doubt about it, Jamal Murray's got a smooth release. He's got, he can move and groove. And honestly, especially on next gen, I think you're going to see a lot of people run with the car. Looking at my phone here, he's got Lonzo Ball, Danny Granger, Glenn Robinson, Kenya Martin, and Boogie Cousins. So he's got a very solid lineup, but he doesn't have the new moments, Jamal Murray. Let's go, man. I'm super, super excited to use this Jamal Murray card. I kind of wish I was on next gen because that's where the diamond Jamal Murray was very effective. But oh yeah, look at the defense. <clears throat> good oh yeah jamal getting me a bumpsy on the first possession of the game i love it oh chill 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 chill, chill. I kill. oh my goodness i shot it moving through i didn't even try to but i guess i'll take the green light on the first possession of the game i i wanted to set my feet kind of get a quick stop in right there but a nice shot from jamal murray Hey, look at Jamal. Showtime, me. You know what to do, Jamal Murray. That's a tough shot. It's a wide open. It's a good shot, but it's kind of a tough one. And that's the one thing. I would say off like the peak and stuff. I don't. Jamal Murray's release isn't bad, but it's just I don't think it's next level in my opinion, at least. Come on. Green. Uh, it's just it takes a while to develop off the peekaboo it definitely does good shot though nonetheless from jamal oh yeah jamal to the oh my goodness what are we doing Oh my goodness, Jamal Murray. Who said Ty couldn't dribble? I just absolutely killed him right there. Oh yeah, Jamal to the cup. That should get you takeover. Yes, sir. And the team takeover should be creeping up. It's good defense. It's great D. I'm slow on the closeout. Good run. Uh-oh. Uh-oh.
Can you just back up? I'm getting double teamed and I'm at the half court line. And it's like I'm just trying to have fun with Jamal and I'm getting triple teamed. Bro, like, look. Look at what he's doing. He's just double teaming this screen, allowing me to get a wide open layup. I mean, I guess. I guess I just, I live with it because it is what it is. But I, I want to just go crazy with Jamal. He's got takeover, man. Thank you. Look at this. Look at what I have to do to try to get a look with Jamal. It's absolutely in incredible how much attention he's getting. I'm just trying to go crazy. Good D. Run. Get it up. Dang, bro. The attention he gets is absolutely absurd. And I will say Jamal doesn't have the quickest release. It does take a little bit to develop. So, like, right there, I couldn't get that quick three off. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Up to Jamal. Chill. He got a delayed peak for what reason, 2K? Give me one, Jamal. That's a wide open. Thank you. Finally, you get one. Let's get you a break, man. But he's going... I mean, he's got 18 points. He is exhausted. Look at his defensive stats. That's how tired he is. Good right, run. Get it to Jamal. Hey, Jamal. Showtime slam. You love to see it. Bron's got takeover. Jamal Murray. He's up to 20. Hey, Jamal. Oh, my goodness. I, it's like, why is AD cutting there? For what reason? LeBron is just so good on both ends of the court. Jamal, why? I just wanted to stop on the break and shoot a three, but it's so hard. With his release, it's like I try to I try to do things too quickly. I just need to take my time with Jamal. LeBron Stop James. testing my Bron, man. Bron has proven on both ends of the court what he is about. Board. That's deep. Yes, sir. Board me. Uh-oh. Jamal time. I just kill him. I missed. There's no way. I got to be able to green that. That's an absolute kill from Jamal. Come here. Open? Yeah, I'll take it. Free board because you had to step up so high. It's tough. I'll take a midi. Ooh. Bro, Jamal, I know you're tired, man. But I'm tired, too. I'm tired, too, Jamal. Ooh. And I still got to work. Look at AD. Come on, give me one, Jamal. I know you're exhausted. I know you're tired. But come on, man. I would have probably quit after I saw AD get 9,000 rebounds on that possession. I really probably would have. Shoot it. That's deep. Oh, my word. We got four seconds. We got four seconds, Jamal. What do we got up our sleeve? Ah. A wide open look, another white. Can I agree with Jamal or not, man? At the halftime, Mark, you see Jamal Murray, 31 points, 3 assists, 1 steal, no turnovers, 12 of 20 from the field, and 7 of 13 from deep. We're going to give Jamal Murray just a few more, a couple more minutes, a couple more possessions, just to see what he can do when he's fresh. Because obviously later on in that second quarter, he was pretty exhausted. So I want to see just a few more possessions of him moving when he is fresh. Look at the defense. You know ah, I wanted to pull it on the break, but... A showtime a showtime dunk can work as well. Jamal Murray is up to 33 points. I just, I don't know what it is, but I just love the way Jamal Murray moves. There's just something about it that I just, I love. I love using Jamal Murray. Now, whether I'm having that much success with him or not, it doesn't matter. What's fun is that he's a fun card to use, and that's, like, that's really all that matters when it comes down to it. If you're having fun with the card, that's what matters. And I promise you, man, 
I had a lot of fun with Jamal Murray. Looking at the final box score here, Jamal Murray had 33 points, 3 assists, 2 steals, 13 of 22 from the field, and 7 of 14 from deep. Another um, great game from Jamal Murray. Honestly, guys, I think the majority of you guys are going to have more success with Jamal Murray on next gen compared to current gen. But even on current gen, he's still a very, very fun card to use. He definitely is. Now, is he going to be better than Luka Doncic? No. The answer to your question is probably no. Is he better than Lonzo Ball on current gen? I'll still take Lonzo, but that's my personal opinion. If you guys need the Pro 2 Curry escape, then there you go. Jamal Murray is really the man with the plan. It's really up to you. I will say this. Jamal Murray is a very, very fun card to you. What is, what is he worth? I would say it's hard to say he's worth a on current gen more than 100k next gen you could probably pay upwards of, of 100k 150k to 200k for this card because he really can move and groove and i feel like on next gen especially is where you're going to notice a lot of people running this jamal murray card but that is my final breakdown of galaxy opal jamal murray let me know your guys' thoughts on the card down below in the comments drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always man i love you guys and have a blessed day